Truth Frequency Radio, your protection from deception. And we're back, Twin Flame Divine Fire on Truth Frequency Radio, 866-37-TRUTH, 866-378-7884. I'm Alan. I'm Sandra. Hey, you were right on that. I thought I'd take you by surprise, but you weren't going to be fooled. No, I wasn't going to no, be fooled. No, you were paying Thank attention. You. Yeah, Thank I was. You. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to get it for that one later on. <laughs> Just wanted to say thanks again to our first hour guest, Larry Elkins, wonderful guest and a great, great book, uh, The Concept of Love. Don't forget to go get that now on Amazon and all the other places he talked about <laughs> at Larry Elkins, a concept of love.com. March Madness Hour 2 continues with a very interesting fella. Very, <laughs> I, I like this guy a lot. I'm talking about Todd Medina. Uh, his world has been turned upside down a couple of times. I think that would be fairly safe to say. Uh, he discovered pretty much how to live normally in an alien world. He spent years as a transient spirit. Uh, some would call him homeless, yet he knew that he had finally found his home. He arrived at the center of his being, the I am soul. Of course, if you've been on Facebook and you're familiar with Soulogy, you're going to know Todd. He does soul speak. He does all sorts of different things. Todd, welcome to the show, brother man. Well, I appreciate it. And thank you for having me on. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I just got to say that uh, introduction to the show was very powerful. Oh, I was very you. impressed with that. Did y'all do that? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, we, we found the bed of music and we just started listening. And we listened and listened. And, of course, we're huge Alan Watts fans. Uh, if, if I could have found a way to throw Russell Brand in there, I think I would have thrown <laughs> him in there, too. But, yeah, Jim Carrey and the other guy, the last guy that you heard, he's actually been a guest on our show a couple of times. He does the Put Your Hand Up campaign in Australia, uh, basically a way for men to learn who they are as men, a guy by the name of James Greenshields, a powerful, powerful man. And uh, yeah, well, I'm glad you like that. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of passion in it. There was a lot of passion in it. Yeah. Well, we know that you have a lot of passion in what you do, and <laughs> we would like to really give you honor because March Madness is about all of the men that are stepping out there and they've stepped out of that that paradigm that says, oh, you have to do this or you have to do that. And you have done such an amazing job and we want to really honor you for what you're doing. You're out there and you're making changes. And some of these things you're doing, they're not easy, but you're really putting the effort into it and it's growing. We'd like for you to tell the audience exactly what it is that you are doing, if yeah, you would do that, please. Because you, my friend, have passion as well, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, I guess it just depends on what part of that passion you want to go into. <laughs> some of them probably shouldn't. But uh, no, yeah, this, this is going to be FCC compliant. By the way. Just, <laughs> just wanted to let you know that. I mean, I, personally, I don't care, but, you know, <laughs> no, I know what you mean. No, I don't know really, you know what to say. It's just uh, I think there's an energy that we all share that we all know. Uh, some deny it. Some are so deep into something they can't even see it. And some of us have been looking for it. And I think there's a collective energy, you know, that we all emit. It's powerful, maybe under understated in the uh, major media, but it's there. And so I think what it is, it's just my expression of, of my individual journey that's, you know, as the individual goes, the collective goes. And it's just my version of, you know, expressing my soul. And it's the same story that's being lived by people all over the world, like you guys. I've never heard of a radio frequency like this, pardon the pun. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> But no, it's it's an energy, you know, and, and it, this is what it's all about, like coming together just like this and spreading this energy and people actually seeing it, becoming more aware of it. So I think the you know, the emphasis is really more on today, on the present today, being in your presence. How we got here really doesn't matter. We are extraordinary, divine, hum, you know, human beings with a soul. So it's just like go for it, just like your intro. Very powerful you know, very much a collective unifying oneness type of vibration. No, no, no BS. I, I, I caught myself there. <laughs> <laughs> Good catch, by the way. And it got the point across 
beautifully. <laughs> hey, I used to play baseball. I used to play baseball as a good outfielder. I can catch him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, uh, I mean, yeah, you've been through it yourself. I mean, we were talking about our uh, 52-day journey. I mean, you called it your spirit walk. Um, tell us a little bit more about what you've been through. I mean, just to give folks a basic yeah. um, idea who Todd is, okay? Well, I had a, a very uh, uh, intense life. A lot of kids in the house. We had, we had some, uh, you know, I guess I would call it, you know, medical issues, whatever you want to call it. Um, there was there was uh, trauma and, and a lot of love in the house, and then a uh, just a whole bunch of things happened. Catastrophe after catastrophe. Uh, wife died. Separation from kids. Went to jail. Different things like that. Walked the streets for two years. Uh, by choice, in communion, as deep as I could go every second. Just, you know, walking. You know, I used to say, just keep walking. That's all you can do. <laughs> so it just developed into a, a wider presence of living in the present moment and letting things flow to you based on your vibration versus going out and, you know, really trying to structure things. You know, we, it goes deep. It's limitless. We're limitless. And the deeper we can understand ourselves, the, the wider our expanse, the higher, the brighter our light will be, and the vibration takes care of itself. That's just yeah. the way I look at it. It's just my opinion. <laughs> that's, my sure. that's my experience, and I try to express that through poetry, through memes, through soul speaks, through speaking engagements that I haven't had any yet. But <laughs> I guess that's what I kind of do every day because, we, you know, I do a... I do a radio, uh, I guess a radio broadcast or a live broadcast on Facebook through Be Live, Sunday nights through Thursday nights for an hour, and I just Q and A somebody, and it's been pretty good and it's been a lot of fun. Just you know, you're just out there living, just like you guys are doing. This is a brilliant idea, this Truth Frequency Network and this show. <laughs> oh yeah, Chris and Cherie have done a wonderful job on this, and I mean, they're I, I like them because they they don't. Um, let, let themselves be formed. Yeah. You know, they, they know who they are. They know what they want. They know where they want to go. Just kind of like all of us that are on this journey. And, you know, we're not going to be penned in. We're not going to be corralled. And yeah. that's that. And that's one of the beauties of being this this uh, soul in a human experience. I mean, we get to do that and we don't have to necessarily, you know, conform to all those parameters that are being jammed down our throats every day. And it doesn't mean that every host that's on TFR agrees with anybody else. No. But that's the beauty of this. In the in the imperfections and the perfections, we find amazing souls and information and we get it out there. Some of the most beautiful work that you've done Todd that we have watched was um, when you're out in the wilderness and you're looking around and you're panning the beautiful scenery where you are and you can just see the glow on you that says I am soul I am total soul and I am so connected with earth and it's a beautiful it's a beautiful artwork is what it is so we give you honor brother man <laughs> I appreciate that <laughs> That's very nice of you. No one's ever said it like that to me. And you guys are just like on it. You know, the, the energy you're describing about the network, you know, your show, the network, it's the same thing. It's, you know, it's very, it's not very difficult. It has become easier and easier to, to flow into the formless, you know, because you can't really, every time you start forming it, it's, you get egoic, you get, you know, it's just all this stuff. And it, to me, it's like the drama goes away. I have a, I have a, a little adage you know peace in drama out so it's almost like you just move to that vibration it's it comes from within yourself it's not like trying to please everybody just being yourself and i think what people are doing is they're you know starting to put the camera on themselves or maybe they do you know records or maybe they do audio and uh, speak their truth you know it's it's like the, the the glory of the power of speaking your own truth and being yourself and everyone can actually vibrate at the same place yeah, and that is a wonderful thing because I, I think that there is a certain um, segment out there that doesn't really want that to happen, you know, because people are shifting. We feel that people are shifting. They're seeing uh, the facade and, there's, and they're kind of going to themselves, oh, my God, what have I been doing all of these years, my whole life even for that matter? 
I've, I've not been true to myself. I've been, you know, trying to conform to their idea of who they think I should be. And it, it's a beautiful thing to see. And it's also kind of comical. And to, to me, it's comical because the longer we go, it, it's kind of like we see them trying harder and harder, you know, to close that corral. And it, it's open now. We, we think it's open now and people are seeing it. And we think it's a beautiful thing. And it's partly because of folks like yourself that are coming out and just saying, no, no, th this is where it's at. Yeah, I think so. And I think there's a lot of people putting it out there different ways. I had a really interesting interview, uh, impromptu interview on, I think, Friday or Saturday with Morgan Lee, uh, who I've known for a couple of years out of South Australia, Adelaide. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that channel. Many, many people are expressing <laughs> whatever you want to call it, channeling, downloads, transmissions, whatever. Yeah. But there's there's definitely, you know, on one hand, you got to give the human credit for being coming more aware. But that, you know, the challenge there or what seems to be coming up as a challenge is forgetting about what has happened. That's why good or bad, it's like, where are you at now? If anything, what have you learned? It's about right this second, because that's where the, the truth is and just being alive and conscious. I made a, a, a video the other day and I said, you know, all the the future, the past, the parallel, they all occur at the same time. So why are we conscious in this particular realm? There's a reason for it. It can't be to be punished. <laughs> and if it is, if it is, we can just vibrate our way out of it. That's the whole point. So I, I don't really look at the, you know, what, even because I mean, it's just my opinion, my experience being expressed. And so I, when I stopped saying they and, and started saying, what about me? And, and worked it from there, it just seems like everything's been magic since more and more every day. And, you mm -hmm. know, the world the world might say no, <laughs> as I sit here with, you know, just a few things. But you know what? I'm following this vibration. I know it's only going to get better and better, so why would I stop? And then yeah. to find, find common energies like this, I find is happening more and more. And what I'm referencing there is that it is on the air, that it is a community that's growing. Because I can totally see, uh, you know, having a, a, a synergy, a relationship with this, you know, with you guys. Because, I mean, it's the same vibration. However you expand that, I don't know. But, you know, that's one thing we, we do at Sology on this network is it's a platform. It's a platform for channels. It's, it's a platform for any frequency, whether it be an individual that just has a page on Facebook with certain expressions. But everything in that one is vibration, you know, and so it's the same frequency. So I, you know, I, I, it's nice to uh, a lot of people I run into. It's like, oh my God, I finally met somebody who, who you know, who understands. And so it's it's a wider thing. You got a, a huge audience. Mm -hmm. So I just got to commend you and the Truth Frequency Radio. That's incredible. <laughs> well, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. It's it's when you um, step into. Um, your true frequency and align that you're aligning with other frequencies and it's not a difficult task and a lot of people think well I would love to do this with my life but that seems so far out of reach it really isn't if you're aligning your frequency this just basically flows anything that you can conceive inside of you can exist outside of you and at, if we can align these frequencies and understand that it becomes this amazing journey and i think we were watching something on nikola tesla last night mm -hmm. and he could actually um bring this energy through his body and light a light bulb and we've seen it in us when we've taken pictures the human race is capable of so much more but they need to really understand this is frequency and yeah. we're aligning with these amazing people. And Todd, you're an amazing person. <laughs> and we want to see you just really trudge forward and do great. And we know that you've been in New York City. What was that like? <laughs> oh, that was beautiful, man. It was beautiful because I was in the heart of the Bronx and uh, staying with Israel Kelly and his beautiful family. And uh, But I would, as soon as I got there, I went out into the streets at night. And it's kind of a working class area, so it's, you know, it's dark, it's New York, but it's got things open here and there. And so I'd go out there and do spirit walks out there, and it was the same thing as walking in the forest. It was the same thing. Uh, I could see it all, you know, and then it's just the diversity of the place. I mean, it's truly, in my opinion, got to be the heart of the world, man. 
because there's all these vibrations, but there's this common vibration of kind of like a, uh, you know, scrabble hard, you know, existence, you know, rough, you know, roughing out an existence to build something. Everybody had this respect of, of living in a certain way. It's a very strong energy if you look through all the dark and light uh, contrast. So I had a, you know, I've, I had a good experience there. I'm going back. I think I'm going to run by my hometown in Houston and see my family and then go back to New York and really get down and get to get to work. We're doing a lot of planning. It's coming together. It's mostly based on the unseen energy, the frequency that you're talking about. And that is a, that is a challenge because you see people that are expanding. Uh, they still have things that they confront. The higher your soul goes, the higher the, your soul's awareness goes, the higher your ego goes. It just becomes, you know, like a dance. So I think, you know, these are the things, and that's what interested me about the opportunity is because of the connotation mark, March Madness, because I do think that a huge part of this is the men coming out, <clears throat> coming out and releasing these or unveiling these vulnerabilities and just being straight up instead of, you know, Billy, Billy, the bad guy. I caught myself again there. Yeah. <laughs> and I caught that one too. It's just like, is he going to go there? Uh, I was just going to like, I didn't hear anything. So just... <laughs> no, that's no, we found that too. And we're seeing that a lot with the folks that we're dealing with uh, pretty much on a daily basis. The men right now um, are going through it because they are experiencing these things that society says that they have no right to experience or they shouldn't experience if they're real men, but they're going through it and they're confused. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I think, you know, I look at it this way, you know, they call it women's intuition, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, I look at it like, if you look at earth as an organic, more of an organic thing, and then the cosmos, let's just say, because it's all one and the same. I'm just talking about this realm and the nuances of this realm. So the women have intuition, the men don't. The men come from a lower chakra, the, the women come from the heart. The women are emotional. The men are, you know, have this thing that where they're driven by the more animal you know, which is the competition and the domination and all that bull. Call mm -hmm. myself in. <laughs> <laughs> That's ball three. <laughs> I was so, going to say, we need to keep, keep count how many times he says that. <laughs> got got myself again. Todd, you're doing great. <laughs> you're doing great, brother. <laughs> this, this is like shooting free throws. I can play a little basketball. You just keep <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't miss. That was a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that, uh, you know, the awareness and men being able to come out bravely, you know, uh, w because that's the thing, you know, you can act one way around a bunch of my mixed crowd or whatever, but around the boys, you got to act a certain way. <laughs> and wow. I do think, I do think what it is too, is, you know, everybody's life correlates to the, to their perception. So I say for one thing, you know, like everybody's pain is the same. Everybody's pain is equal because you only know it as yourself and then, you know, in, in proportion to your life experience, it's the same thing. So we all have these individual experiences. And what we got to understand is this is the beauty of it. We can all say, oh, yeah, this happens to you. This crazy stuff happened to you <laughs> or whatever the case is. We're all the same. And I think because of the way the world's been conditioned and I look less on the external now, but just to learn myself and what I try to express is that, you know, it's it's really all about that frequency you're talking about and the females going back to the, to the point of the conversation come from a i'm going to say a more enlightened place more intuitive because intu intuition definitely is the voice of the soul and so the men are coming up organically and they're trying to get past this hard shell egg from the condition of the world because it's been you know it's been written or scripted or whatever or lived where the man's just dominated, period, right down to the household, right down to the laws, right down to everything. So he's having to overcome all that. So on one hand, he's having to strip that veil off and be a little boy. And on the other hand, you know, he doesn't want to give up that power. <laughs> yeah. So he's so it's a very hard pull. It's a hard pull. But I think it's coming. I think there's more and more uh, step Russell brand types, people like that. who are like, you know, hey. What's the big deal? Because it's really, if you just look at each other and you know you're the same thing, in all senses, it, you start right there, you know, after yourself. We're all equal. And that vibration can be lived, and it's being lived, and more and more people expand and do it. More men need to do it open, openly, and we need to help them do that. So I, I want to focus 
what I've been focusing on slowly is is to build one for, you know, kind of like a, a an artistic expression for the divine masculine stepping up and what that really means. And that could be some deep stuff. Well, they say the the higher you want to go in the in the uh, higher consciousness, the lower you have to go into the basement and really dig and pull all that stuff up and uproot it so that we can evolve past this and get to a point where we become the enlightened beings we're supposed to be. So um, I think you're right. There, there's a lot of digging, though. And as the men are digging in, they're going to find themselves in this emotional state that says, hey, why am I feeling this way? Why do I feel the urge to cry? Why am I sad? Why am I really angry? You know, they don't give themselves permission to feel what they need to feel. And we have all of these emotions and women are emotionally charged. Mm -hmm. They really are. From the heart. uh, Yeah. You make them mad, they cry. Yeah. You make them sad, they cry. Mm -hmm. You know, so men are stepping into this now and they're going, what the heck is this? How do you feel about that, Todd? It's like they're stepping into that feminine energy so that they can pull it out of them and we can get to a higher state when you make them happy you cry they cry yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they cry at the drop of a hat Women right yeah it doesn't are, matter you make them mad they're, they cry make they're them happy they cry wired, so <laughs> you, two, you two behave okay yeah todd but you know <laughs> no i'm being good i'm serious i mean <laughs> yeah I mean, there's a, there, but there's other ways too but yeah, I'm, be, I'm being good <laughs> i no, know but, I just gotta but, mess with you a little but the thing is, it's it's and I'm just going to say it from my own standpoint, because I had a I had a very long, hard, still evolving. But in the last part of it, uh, you know, situation with the divine feminine, I mean, because of my life experience, because of social conditioning and so on and so on, I will I went deep, deep into the deepest part <laughs> you can go. And what I'm trying to say is, is that there's a point for me where. I got on my knees <laughs> and I said, I'm sorry, you know, and it was just, it was a, uh, it was a very healing moment. It was a very personal moment based on my life experiences. But I think that correlates. And again, I think as the individual goes, so goes the collective that correlates to a common vibration. And I, and I think, it, you know, for some reason we're moving into a, a, a more wordless existence where it takes it's where we're reading energy versus reading what's coming out of somebody's mouth. Yeah. And I think that uh, art does that. That's what I try to do with part of Soulji. A lot of people contribute on the Soulji Oneness Network uh, Facebook group. And then there's a Soulji One Studios where there's a lot of people that we're bringing in that are new, just different kinds of sounds. And we're, and we're really kind of in our infancy, but we, we've got a good momentum. And so we just try to express the things that you guys, like I said, every, there's a lot of different ways to hear it. And uh and I think uh, bringing those vibrations together in platforms is going to widen this thing very quickly. I see it as a movement. I call Soulji a movement. Yeah, no, I, and I would totally agree with that. And I, I've got to imagine that for a lot of guys, too, especially being in New York. I mean, I'm sorry, but that I mean, whenever you hear New York, you think, oh, that's just a tough guy area right there all the way around. I mean, does that make it? I, I would think that that would make it tougher. Uh, de- depending on where you start as a masculine energy to be able to let that let, let that actually out, you're you're there, is it or no? No, it's yeah. I mean, it is. I mean, it's. Uh, but the thing is, is like you said a while ago uh, about going deep. Let's just say below the zero point, you know, into what humans might call darkness and whatever that is to that person. You can only go as high as you've gone below the zero point. Right. And so the wider that expanse is, if you can be in that zero point, no matter what the situation is, what the so you know what atmosphere you're in, whatever it is, family drama, social, you know, thinking about this, the the world, the world issues, the world stage, what's going on, how can this happen, all that stuff, how do we help it, and all that. The thing is, is if you if you can be at that zero point at the widest expanse as, as possible, and that is expansion, then you can see. The opportunity, the beauty, the potential, and and still get into that vibration, and and it's a much better opportunity, I believe. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. like in New York, to have the to have the uh, 
you know, the option of being on uh, getting out there in the live scene in some of the clubs and bars and stuff like that, which isn't difficult to do, which we're intending to do, which we've already talked to people about doing, but also to be able to stream, you know, what you can stream and just build it like, you know, we're in a new age. Do it, do it the way we can, the tools we have. All right, I'll tell you what, we're going to pick it up on the other side of the break, continuing right there. I'd like to hear more about that, uh, more about the Soulogy Oneness Network, Soul Speak, and a lot more. Todd Medina taking our second hour in our inaugural, or our first game of March Madness, I guess you could call it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Real people, real radio. Initiating the truth frequency. This is Truth Frequency Radio. And we're back to Inflame Divine Fire, Truth Frequency Radio, 866-37-TRUTH, 866-378-7884. If you'd like to talk with Todd today, uh, Todd Medina, our second guest of March Madness, and we had a really good in, uh, conversation going during the break, and he, uh, Todd brought up a very good point, and of course, you know, it, it's obvious, but it, it's a very good point to remember um, even though the masculine is trying to get more in touch with their, uh, their balancing half, the, the feminine. Yeah. I mean, we are totally different creatures for sure. Uh, go on with that, Todd, because that, that was really good to hear. Hello. Did I miss something? Uh Oh, okay. We're going to have to get Todd back. Apparently. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. like Todd, yeah. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened there, <laughs> but we lost him. So yeah, that's okay. It, it's not a big thing. I'm surprised if, I, actually that that's all that's happened here so far today. So anyway, we'll try to get Todd back and see what happens <laughs> on that. And uh, yeah, it's it's a very good discussion, and I can only imagine doing what he's doing yeah. in New York City. I mean, that's some uh, that's some pretty heavy lifting right there yeah. i would think going around to the bars and 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 espousing this what, what's got to be a new philosophy i would think or mm -hmm. a new way of looking at things in the big apple back. we got you back yeah okay signal. the signal went off oh <laughs> no i i was just saying as we came back out of the break todd uh we had a really good conversation going during the break which you get a lot of those you get great conversations going on during the breaks, and we were talking about, yeah, the, the divine masculine is trying to reach his divine feminine, but of course we're totally different creatures, the male and the female, and, and how that adds a different dynamic, one reaching into one area as opposed to, you know, the, the female reaching into that. Uh, did you want to kind of pick that up and run with that? <laughs> well, yeah, I think that's that does correlate, because <clears throat> for the man... It's not everything we do, right. every, everything we think about, everything we fear. So all those fears have to be laid to rest. And some of those fears are what it would, let's say, would challenge your manliness. You right. I mean? So, uh -huh. I mean, you know, it, whether and you would have to, to even draw that into the to the realm of sexuality, because. These, these fears that we have, we all share them. We just share them from a different perspective. And for the man, it's a totally different trip. And again, mm -hmm. he's coming from more of an organic than from the cosmology or the cosmics, you know, the cosmos. But, you know, so the higher intuition takes longer to get to or takes longer to trust because you've been so embedded from the earth up. So I think that, it, you know, you have to come to terms with everything. That's what it's all about. That's where the ascension is, if you want to call it that, is... Is, is facing your fears and getting past them to that liberation that they give you. So for right. men, it's just about momentum. Because one thing about men, once they understand the game, they're going to they're gonna turn the juice off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's true. Though. No, because you think about it, 
And how many ladies are put into the position of being a man, like being a single mom or whatever? And, of course, they have to be able to fill both of those roles equally uh, if they don't have a partner of male and female. Nobody thinks twice about that. But if you get a man, say, on the other end of that, and they have to, you know, just switching the roles out, then all of a sudden it becomes different. And they're looked at with more scrutiny. And, you know, it it doesn't seem fair to the men, but, I mean, it is what it is, right? Yeah. And I think I have a little bit of a sensitivity to that because, you know, yeah. my, my wife passed. I was on the streets for two years. I got my girls back. And they were like 11, 12 years old, 12, 13 years old. So we spent about three years together. And then my oldest daughter, God bless her, took them. Uh, they're 14 and 15 now, beautiful babies. And uh, so anyway, my point is, is that I was in a role for three years of being a single dad, doing my soldiery thing, building that, coming off the streets, and also going through the things you go through <laughs> with young teenage girls and, and they, you know, develop and all that and all the whole oh, world changes. Oh, wow. And that, and that <laughs> strong, that strong, uh, innocent, powerful feminine energy that hasn't been tainted by the world so it was like this balance you know we were living together and there was just a lot of different stuff going on <laughs> and you know yeah there's a huge difference uh even from another angle and that's that girls need a feminine presence you know mm -hmm. and they didn't have it, so i was trying to do both and that was very difficult there's a lot of listening and it taught me a lot it taught me to listen but i just melded with those energies you know what i mean just one day we just kind of just okay you're going to have your energy i'm going to have mine we're going to meet in the middle kind of thing so it was very important i was lucky to be able to go through that with the young feminine energy as well as you know the the, the one that was you know the ones that were my age or or older i was going to say i would think that that would have to give you an advantage of sorts i mean if you even want to call it that uh when when you were trying to balance uh, those energies out within yourself. I mean, that kind of gave you a, a little bit of a head start. Yeah. I mean, I, I think one thing that can be said about expansion, you know, because everybody wants to know, how can I become more aware? What can I read? What can I do? And I think it really is just to have that desire. That desire itself is a frequency and an energy. Because that's one thing about unveiling as, you know, from the center of the universe that we are, is that the more you state, you know, these dark episodes and share these energies and share the extremes of who you really are without, you know, on the show with Morgan Lee this Friday, you know, we talked about soul merging. And soul merging is a way that we can all expand. And that's basically for two souls to unveil, you know, and I'm talking different vibrations here, all kinds of vibrations, just being straight with each other. And how that actually increases the frequency of both people and they move on and, and, and it just keeps keeps building. But I do I think you're starting to see it manifest uh, in the physicality like shows like this, the network, and even the soul's energy, which is the same premise, if you will, that we're all it's oneness. You know, we're all the same thing. Let's stay with that vibration, keep it simple, no doctrine, no dogma. Just just keep applying your energy. So people express, 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 share, and and, and that's the energy that that is us that's our that's closer or at least projecting towards the natural nature that we are yeah no that, that's a very good point i mean and i loved what you said about the uh the the dogma and everything it's just like you know be, be open to everything i mean that, that's kind of what sandra and i do i mean we're open to everything now we may not take everything but we're we're open to it all and i think that's that's the biggest step right there is just don't you think just people allowing themselves to be open? Yeah, you can't. You have to be open because only if you put it in religious terms, put it in whatever terms you want to, whatever, whatever this thing is, we are it. The only thing we know is the it that we are. <laughs> but but there's something alive in me, alive in you, alive in everything that we see. And there's something behind it. And it's us. <laughs> are you? And if you don't look at it that way, it's this God power, whatever you want to call it. So. That has to be, if it's infinite, it's infinite in every direction. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's the whole point. It's just further and further. It gets past acceptance, you know, way past toleration. You know, it gets past 
the point where there absolutely is no difference. But to to try to socially structure it and that type of thing, uh, there's just too much. There's too much conditioning, too much uh, quote unquote matrix resistance. So mm -hmm. it comes from just putting it out there, putting it out there at whatever the cost is. I don't want to be homeless. I want to get a little place of my own <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> with good internet. You know, so I yeah, there I, you go. <laughs> so I can do what I want to do. <laughs> but the thing is, is that's the vibration. It, that's why, like with the, the expressions on Celogy, it's an it's more of an energy. There's people like Don and DeMeo that put up images and, and memes every day that are just it's the it's the combination. It's adding frequencies and vibration. You cannot divorce yourself from any part of the universe. So you have to bring it bring it in until you can find the vibration where you're in the middle. Uh, that's why you know we try to keep it open, wide open on what people can post. You know, we the only thing we 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 do is not attack a religion or make a political statement and just try to stay keep it keep it to where we know we're on common ground because we know on those basic human issues that we're going to have these stupid divides that we know are just not real you know like republican democrat i mean come on right. give me a break it's the yeah. same thing so you just keep uh getting past those simple human uh concepts that you know are just not true i caught myself again <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, how, how how does soul speak fit into all of this for you, Todd? I mean, I I know it's a way. It it, it it is it a way for you just to get a message across for the sake of the message, or is it um, part of the balancing that that you're doing, part of the expansion? What, what exactly is that? Well, I mean, really, it was just uh, soulgy. Really, is just a personal catharsis, and it has been. This expands into the other side of it, you know, once you get past the pain, now you're getting into the expression of just a free, you know, the feeling of being a free and fearless soul. And so, again, it correlates with the with the uh, the collective, with everybody. We're all one. And that is just, you know, the soul speaks came from, I don't know, but I was in, in the house about a year, year and a half, and it, it came to me, Sold You One Studios. I didn't know what it, what it meant. I went downstairs, cleared out my downstairs, started sleeping down there. Had a bunch of couches moved in, made a studio, just started making videos and put them to music. Then I started to say my words to music. Then I started to put a little melody to it or rap. And then I just kept going, going with it and producing other people. And so now it's kind of grown into this parallel. I'm just continuing to, ex to expand as any of us do from a personal level from the inside out. The closest people to us, the people we see every day. But at the same time, I see this energy that I call Soulgy growing and growing and paralleling my personal growth and maybe that's just the way i see it but the point is is those expressions are to create let's say a new genre that's not even music i've got an introduction out on youtube of a book i'm writing called soulgy the other side of truth and it is an audio imagery video music frequency vibrational book series and it's an expression where you throw everything and you can't classify it it's just uh, to me, it's I look at art as like reaching for the highest expression of yourself, which which is the expression of the soul and, and, and merging those two things as best you can. They just go on to the next one. So I see that it's building more now as an energy that is involving more and more people every day. You know, we've got several people, several channels. Uh, we call them channels that we support. We have a website where we just. They come on the Q&A, we do a show. If they want to be part of the network, they put their their link, you know, on the homepage at soulg.weebly.com. Uh, We're expanding, trying to do the same thing that the, that the network you're with is doing and you're doing and a lot of people are doing and just trying to bring more and more people into that platform. So we're looking for investors. We're looking at ways to bring in capital through our own we want to be self-sustaining, not a, uh, a non-profit. We want to be the antithesis of a, you know, of a spiritual organization in this world, if you will. Let me use those human terms. And again, we're not trying to judge anybody. We're not trying to do anything. We're just trying to put this energy out there and say, you know, we don't have a doctrine. We don't have any dogma. This is a frequency that we can all live, you know, in harmony. And that's not, I caught myself again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we're up to seven now. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs>
My favorite number is 23, so you're in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> they might start coming faster and faster now, but really, we want to expand it with people like you. We'd love to promote you, even though we may not be of the size of a true frequency network, but we're, we're building steam. And the more it, we all know, because the Internet is, is the highest physical manifestation of the ethers at this at this point because of all that it offers, you know, the energy that's felt between people across the world, you know, and you see it all the time. You know, just it's, it's a powerful thing and it's growing. It can't be stopped cannot be stopped. We're developing senses or awareness to our psychic abilities, our magic, our, our alchemy, our healing uh, through uh, the unseen. And, the, and it's been a big part of it. So this is, this is, it's like you get up every day and where can I go? Where can we increase this vibration? More and more people are out there doing it. And, and it is, uh, there's, you can't even put, put it into words. I think the music and the art form that you're doing, I call it like a um, an artistic journal. Yeah, it's um, his poems and music and and everything just it flows together and it's like nothing we've ever heard before and we know that this is this is your soul speaking, Todd. And it's an amazing process. I think that people need to go and experience it mm -hmm. um, and. And tell them where they can find you on Facebook, what what they need to tap into, because you put a lot of things out. They really need to experience it. Yeah, I like the fact that, yeah, because it's like a different modality, basically. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, what Todd was saying, the same thing, uh, different modality, you know, what appeals to one person may not appeal to another as far as attracting them or, or getting them, you know, closer to the point to where I think everyone wants to be. They just don't know how to necessarily get there. Yeah, and I think because so many people are, uh, you know, moving so fast, uh, and for for everything that people say about Facebook, you know, there's a reason there's however many billion people on it. I think there's a billion or, or more. Uh, is that it, it does give us an access that is unlike any other, so we can we can access anything we want when we want, regardless of what our schedule is, and you do have this 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 you know platform coming together and i think uh you know it's not it, it can grow rapidly it has grown rapidly it had eleven thousand people in it a year ago i think a couple of weeks ago and it's got like 17 and a half now the studio's got like eleven thousand just from this last week so i think again the more people that come in that's the whole idea behind souls you want this network um it's like the round table there is no master Nobody, it is nothing, but it is everything. And the spokes in the wheel, if you will, are the channels. So if a channel is uh, twin flame divine fire, and we just feed that, even if it's just we go get your replay and we just feed it and just keep going, it develops its own people that resonate with it will come to it, and, and we just keep building that thing. It's like a big soup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the stone soup. Everybody yeah, the stone brings, soup. Yeah, stone soup. Yeah, there you go. A little something from every <laughs> I like day, it. And you mix it together and you have an awesome soup. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. So, yeah, t tell us more um where where can people find that, Todd? You can uh, you can find it on uh Facebook. There's a uh, Sology uh Oneness Network group. And then uh, and it's uh, it's public, so you don't have to be a member. We get a lot of a lot more people that are not members coming to it based on the numbers. And then there's Soldier you One Studios page on Facebook, which is an ensemble of people, and it's just still in its infancy too. Then we have Soldier.weebly.com, which is Soldier One Network uh, uh, first edition, or we're just getting it started. Thank you, Lisa Caratini. Uh, that one has a few of the people that are the spokes in the wheel what we've had on the show and people are slowly bringing their stuff to it. And, uh, there's also sold you one studios dot Weebly dot com, Todd Medina, uh, dot Weebly dot com. But so it's all kind of, you know, in the early stages, it's been a very difficult thing. I mean, in my old life, I used to build businesses. I was very successful doing that. I lived all over the country, so I know how to build an organization. Uh, we're, it's all coming together now. And, uh, it's, 
a little different trip because in the past I would have taken the conventional route and you know got some savings and got you know <laughs> but but it's just like you got to keep the energy going you got to keep having faith in the energy and the more the deeper you can go the bigger the miracles and it just keeps building so it's an exciting time because we're living in a time regardless of what people might try to describe it as ascension or new earth or whatever you want to call it this is about the individual expanding the collective expanding in, a, in an energy that you cannot see and that cannot be denied and and it is not uh you know to be described you know necessarily as a cycle of cycles or the end of the road or this jubilee or apocalypse this goes on forever we go on forever everything is limitless and right now what we have is what we have and these are the things that are bringing us our bliss and our happiness and our joy is being authentic and real very true very true I think it's really cool because I want to bring something up as we're talking about the frequency and how everybody's aligned. We've noticed that we've been in several messages with people at one particular time, up to seven or eight IM messages, and everybody will come across and use either particular words or something at the exact same time. Mm -hmm. And so there is proof that we have this collective consciousness and we have this amazing energy so we get to experience it from that end have you seen that happen um in things that you're doing todd yeah there's no doubt there's synchron synchronicities yeah yeah there's, you know, i can tell you when i came off the street well you know even when i was on the street there were synchronicities without the internet because i was in communion i mean these were animals and you know all, all different things that were aspects of all the same thing I might have seen him in a way that uh, um, I could understand and accept at the time. So everybody has their own trip. The, the, let's just put it in these terms. The universe communicates to everybody in, a, in, in their own way. So the important thing is to latch onto that vibration, that God element, that God substance, source, whatever you want to call it. That's you. And the more you see it as you, the easier your vibration is and, and, and it just goes totally against what the world might put out there so it's like oh what are you doing <laughs> you're crazy <laughs> you're crazy but you know crazy ain't crazy anymore and no so crazy's I, cool yeah that's a relative term anymore <laughs> i mean really and you know if i if i'm going to go down because the truth is regardless of our individual intuitions and how much we might say we understand each other and we're at the same vibration, the bottom line is nobody knows. So why would you want to live any other way than to live in that direction? Because you don't even know. It may just boil down to whatever we want to call it in terms of reincarnation or, or, or oneness or infinity. How do we not know that our own energy is what controls that? So why, why would you not want to give anything and everything you could to that, plus the most deepest introspections within yourself? This is where the power is. This is how we grow. This is how we change the world, so to speak, because this is the power source. Tesla lighting up, you know, a light bulb with this, you know, with this energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what? is he there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, so I know she just looked at me like, what happened? I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, you're just streaming consciousness. We're all streaming consciousness. That's why I love Russell Brand. Because it, the people that can express it by synergizing their human and their higher self are the ones carrying the vibration the most. And I'm not saying that I am, but what I'm saying is, is I'm following the vibration that I'm seeing. And that's what I see when I see a Russell Brand. You know, but it also, you know, it also lends to like you were talking about watching videos last night is to taking it in in the physical mind to almost to send it the other direction. It's like the reverse. You know, we try to we try to look for the esoteric and all that stuff and bring it in that way. Sometimes you got to bring it in from the human side up. So we have to take in that information. So I just try to follow the vibrations. You know, I, I'm very, very happy. <laughs> I'm very excited and would love to do something with you guys in any capacity whatsoever uh, because this is the first time I've made a connection uh, of this magnitude, you know, in terms of, say, viewership and that type of thing with another energy that's coming out in this, in this venue, what we call the Internet. 
Oh, we love the internet. Wonderful. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah. And this is an awesome venue. We're trying to get it um, across to a lot of um, the spiritual groups and different things like that, that this is an awesome venue. This is your, <laughs> your chance to express how you feel and what you are doing to change com- the community, the United States, the world. Yeah, and we want to offer it. them a, yeah. another road to go down Offer modality a platform wise. Yeah. And, and get Absolutely. your modality out there and and express 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 and that's what we love about you todd you're not afraid to express and let me <laughs> tell you i like your rawness brother man <laughs> well <laughs> i caught a lot of heat for it <laughs> you know what that's okay if you're not catching heat you're not doing something there that's you what, go yeah that's when I realized we were starting to have a little impact, you know, so I'm, yeah. excited, I'm excited about that because mm-hmm. uh, we started having some pushback, but not too much, really, because, you know, I call it the soul highway, what you're describing, and it's kind of like you just start walking down the same road and say, hey, what's up, because everybody's the same. We're all the same. What's what's the, you know, the, the most profound things are the most simple. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, all you got to do is look at somebody else. We are the same thing, period, in the story. We don't need to talk about anything else. We just need yep. to just, you know, head to that vibration. You know, it's, 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 and you can look at a lot of things. You can look at, uh, you know, there's X number of, you see this mean, there's, you know, whatever number of uh, uh, empty houses in the country, and there's this many homeless people, and there's a lot fewer homeless people than houses. You can look at all these different aspects. And they can be solved very quickly just by moving to that vibration of oneness. And it may sound yeah. corny and cliche to some people, but again, the most profound things are the most simple. It's just that's very simple. true. That's very true. Hey, Todd, I hate to say it, brother man, but we're about out of time. One more time, how can people get a hold of you quickly, please? Uh, well, Facebook, uh, it's the Soldier Oneness Network Facebook group. It's Soldier One Studios Facebook page, Soldier One Studios YouTube. Uh, and then there's a Sology.weebly.com is our main website. Okay, cool. And of course, I'll put this in the descriptive after the show so you can check it out on our archive and get a hold of all the information there as well. Hey, Todd, thanks for joining us, being part of, part of March Madness. We appreciate it, brother. Appreciate you guys. All right. We will talk to you again really soon. And that's going to do it for us. Don't go anywhere. Coming up next, it's Chris Everard. And Chris always has a good show always so stay tuned for Chris and until next time we'll see you Uh, hope you have a good week love and light much love guys bye bye